Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and today I want to solve a riddle which has bothered me for quite some time. Precisely which color cauliflower tastes the best? And no, I didn't play around with Easter egg uh, paint or something else, nor are those uh, really natural plants. No, they have been selectively bred through millennia. To look like that and also to have different colors. Well, until some time ago I thought it's very simple. We have cauliflower and we have broccoli. And broccoli is basically the green version of cauliflower. But no, actually broccoli and cauliflower are two very different things. And actually there seems to be white broccoli and green cauliflower. And the green cauliflower is still cauliflower and the white broccoli is still broccoli. However, it's not that simple. It's getting even more complicated. Okay, let me sit down and start at the beginning. There was a plant in the Mediterranean called Brassica oleracea. The <clears throat> how should I translate it? The the good smelling um, brassicaceae, basically. And from this, the Italians. And yeah, during the time of the Roman Empire and the Roman Republic and um, the early days of Rome, they bred a lot of stuff from it, like drumstick cabbage and kohlrabi and Brussels sprouts. Yeah, and also stuff like broccoli and cauliflower. Pliny the Elder describes something which looks pretty much like cauliflower. And yeah, most probably it, it was not any of the varieties we know today, but basically even the ancient Romans had stuff like cauliflower and broccoli. Well, now, before we go to the cauliflower, what's the difference between broccoli and cauliflower? Well, bro broccoli is green. Yeah, the, the head is green. The stalks are green. Even the leaves are more green than in cauliflower. Cauliflower is white. The head is white. The stalks are white. And even the leaves which are around the flower head are kind of whitish. So for many years I thought, yeah, cauliflower is just a bleached broccoli. <coughs> but no, <laughs> it's much different. So if you look closely, you will see that the broccoli head is made of lots of little bumps, which are flower buds. And actually, if I wait a couple more weeks, it will flower and you can actually eat it even when it's flowering. But usually the shops will throw it away because nobody will buy it. And here, if you look at the cauliflower, well, you don't see buds. This could be due to the fact that they are teeny tiny. <coughs> but no, actually, there are no buds here. Or usually there are no buds or not many buds. This big white stuff, <clears throat> or the, the curd or cottage cheese of the cauliflower is actually not made of flower buds like the broccoli. It's made of um, inflorescence meristem, basically cells which are not, which are not really uh, specified yet, but they are just dividing like crazy and they can become uh, specialized cells, but for now they are not. So basically, this white stuff is one big white mass, or lots of small white masses. Well, this mass here is actually made of single buds. This would have become buds if it hadn't been bred so that it stays like a type of curd. Well, there are lots of different cauliflower types. Basically, the original type, and all those here, which I have here, seem to be classified as the original type, um, well, firstly, the broccoli is Brassica oleracea var italica. The cauliflower is Brassica oleracea var botrioides. But this var botrioides has a type italica, which is the traditional cauliflower, which just like the broccoli comes from Italy. And the funny thing is that all those white and purple and green and yellow cauliflowers, they are all 
in this Italica type of the Botryoides variety, not of the Italica variety, which is this one. Then we have a Northern European variety cultivated in Germany, which is mostly for yeah, uh, summer and autumn cultivation. And we have a Northwest European variety or type or group of cultivars cultivated in France in a more Atlantic climate so that it can be so that it can be harvested in winter and spring in more mild climates like in France this would work in Germany or Russia it wouldn't work so well and then there is the tropical variety of the cauliflower which was developed in India and which is popular in India and Southeast Asia However, this is what you can read on the Wikipedia page for the cauliflower. On the Wikipedia page for the broccoli, it's being said that the tropical cauliflower, the so-called tropical cauliflower, is actually a broccoli. And also the so-called purple cauliflower, which can be yellow, green or purple, is also a broccoli. I guess there might be some <clears throat> misunderstanding or bias because all those cabbage types... They are all in the same species and they can readily hybridize and broccoli can hybridize with cauliflower. Well, what cauliflowers did I get here? This is the classic white cauliflower we all know and which is grown in the supermarkets. This is a green cauliflower which just contains um, chlorophyll, while this one doesn't. And this one is the Fibonacci type or the Romanesco. Usually they are very beautiful geometric uh, shape but this one is a little bit small and a little bit underdeveloped and not that geometric but it's a green cauliflower there is also a green cauliflower which looks exactly like the white one but it's green but this is the romanesco it has a green color and a very different shape then there is the purple cauliflower it contains anthocyanins which are a um, antioxidant so it's healthy for you. Well, of course, the green one is also healthy for you. Green stuff is usually healthy. And then here we have the orange or yellow type, which contains beta carotenoids, basically like a carrot. And here, for comparison, the broccoli, which is not a cauliflower, but the same species. Here I boiled half of each one. I got pretty much all the available varieties, except for the green one which looks shape-wise like the white one. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten it, but I didn't. Now let's see which one tastes the best. Let's start with the typical white one. And let's try the raw one first. You can eat all cabbage raw or cooked, boiled, fried, steamed. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy. Yeah. Tastes a bit like kohlrabi, but the consistency is different. Now the Romanesco. Mm -hmm. <coughs> a much more savory taste and also salty. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> this tastes like it has more of something, but that's normal. Green stuff usually has a stronger taste. Now the purple one, huh. beautiful color. Mm. <clears throat> no crunchy. And also I would say that the <clears throat> kohlrabi flavor is stronger here. This one had basically no kohlrabi flavor. This one had some, this one has a stronger one. Well, <clears throat> now the orange. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice and crunchy. Mm. Quite a weak broccoli flavor. But yeah, it's interesting how those here were kind of crunchier. Nah, this is crunchy too. Okay. So the tree that look similar just with different colors. They're all pretty crunchy. And 
with a little bit of kohlrabi taste. Well, the Romanesco, a bit less crunchy, tastes more savory and nutritious and even salty. Now let's compare it with the broccoli. Mm, the consistency is very different. Well, it's again a mess of crunchy stuff with kohlrabi flavor, but yeah, the buds have a very different consistency from this curd. But usually cauliflower and broccoli are not consumed raw, but cooked or fried or steamed or boiled or roasted. I just boiled them in water for like 10-15 minutes and added some salt. This one was sticking out a little bit of the water so the tip is still a bit more brightly colored. I put them all in the same water because I didn't want to put them in five different pots and the water that came out was bright green. Um, yeah, as you can see color changes. Okay, now let's try them first, the standard cauliflower. Well, tastes like cauliflower. Then the purple one. Mm. The stalk was a bit more sweet in this one. The yellow one. Mmm, quite bland and boring, but the stalk again was a little bit sweet, let's see here, yeah, <laughs> so they were already quite similar when they were raw, boiled, they're pretty much the same, now the Romanesco, Yeah, it still has, retained some of its savoriness, yeah, hmm. now I regret not buying the green cauliflower which looks like the white one, because the Romanesco tastes very different, while well, those three taste very similar, so now the big question is, does the green one that looks like those shape wise, Tastes like those three, or tastes like the Romanesco. Let's compare them with the broccoli, which again is not a cauliflower, but seems to have contributed genetic material to a lot of cauliflower varieties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Different consistency and a bit savory, almost a bit like the Romanesco, but the Romanesco is more savory. <laughs> Now look at what a mess I made. Also, it's quite a gloomy day, so the light is not perfect right now. I hope you forgive me this. Yeah, quite interesting. I think my next experiment would be to get the normal looking green cauliflower and try it compared to Romanesco and white cauliflower, but this was already quite an interesting start. So folks, those were the different color cauliflowers. Since we don't have so many fruit in spring, I'm, I make more flower videos. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit and flower videos from the beautiful city of Heidelberg. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.